Hello everyone and welcome to Pine Feather Friends History Redo. My name is Jay Bird and today's episode is The Very Short Term of President William Harrison. William H. Harrison was elected the ninth president of the United States in 1840. At the time he was the oldest person to be ever elected at the age of 67. This was the second time he ran for president. Harrison was a member of the Whig Party. His first attempt was in 1836 against Martin Van Buren. In his own party, the Whigs ran three other candidates as well to split the electoral votes. One of the three other Whig candidates was Daniel Webster, who was actually aware, this time, of being placed on the election ballot. The Whigs' party's strategy was to muddy up the electoral votes by forcing Congress to decide the winner of the election in order to prevent Van Buren from winning. A similar political ploy was used in 1824, but it failed this time around. Van Buren won enough electoral votes to win the presidency outright. In 1840, Harrison ran again against the incumbent Van Buren with John Tyler as his running mate. Instead of laying out a political strategy, Harrison focused his campaign on being a war hero and a common man. Harrison made a name for himself back in 1811 as the man who fought the Shawnee Nation and their leader, Tecumseh. The former general milked his victory at Tippecanoe, making him the first presidential candidate to actively campaign himself. The Democratic Party mocked him because of his age, earning the nickname Granny, and for his lack of political savvy. Harrison used this to his advantage appealing to the poor common man, touting his log cabin lifestyle, frontier ways, and painting Martin Van Buren as an aristocratic snob. Even though Harrison came from a very wealthy family himself, his campaign came up with a political jingle that cemented his fame, Tippy Canoe and Tyler too. Along with the jingle and being known as the hard cider and log cabin candidate, the Whigs were certain of a November victory. The Democrats' strategy consisted of questioning Harrison's age, health, military credentials, and refusal to publicly state his political views and positions. Because of his refusal to answer any of the questions, Harrison earned the nickname General Mum. And he continued to dodge the issues and press forward with his log cabin and hard cider agenda. Martin Van Buren wanted to run on political issues and viewed Harrison as a weak and ineffective opponent with artificial common man credentials. Harrison pretty much sat in the driver's seat while his party paved his way to the White House. The Whig Party strategy worked and Harrison won the 1840 election, winning over 200 electoral votes. The 67-year-old Harrison became the country's ninth president. He was sworn in on March 4th, 1841, a month after his 68th birthday. Sadly, he would die within a month. His inauguration speech is on record of being the longest of any president. Three weeks later, he caught a cold which slowly developed into pneumonia. His doctors did everything they could to save his life and using unorthodox treatments such as bloodletting and cupping, opium, castor oil, and plenty of wine and brandy. When all that failed, they brought in a Native American medicine man, a shaman, a witch doctor. The shaman's attempts to cure the ailing president ended up hastening his death. Tecumseh finally got his revenge. John Tyler became the country's 10th president and was kicked out of his own party soon after due to his non-Whig views. Harrison became the first president to die in office, and the presidential line of succession wasn't fully solidified until the creation of the 25th Amendment in 1967. Harrison died before he could really do anything in the Oval Office, so it's really hard to judge his presidency. But he did change the way presidents campaigned for office, bringing it into the modern era, along with being a log cabin candidate, which many contenders would use for the next 50 years. President William Harrison was the classic empty suit candidate who ran and won by using a carefully crafted image but underneath had no substance well thanks for watching another episode of fine feather friends history redo my name is jay bird 
and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.